Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. In this video I am tuned GCEA and using a tenor, but soprano concert tenor is fine any size of uke as long as you tune GCEA. These techniques will work on other tunings of uke, but the names will be different. I'm using it in the context of a GCEA tuned ukulele. So in this video we're going to show you how A7 can be a movable chord. So let's get started we have got an a7 I mean, we normally play it with the first finger this time we're going to play it with our second finger this is a7 you will have seen a similar technique to my most useful ukulele chord shape video that's on blackpool music skill channel at the moment our most highly viewed episode and the most thumbs up thank you for that so this is a7 it gets its name from the string nearest the floor. Whatever note that is, that's the name of the chord. In this case, A, A7. Okay, so we're gonna move that up to the second fret and use our first finger as the bar. That is now A sharp or B flat seven, because this note here is A sharp or B flat. Move it up one more, it's B. Move it up one more, it is C. Seventh, I should say. One more, C sharp seven. One more, D seven. So we're now at the fifth fret with that, with that A seven shape. That is delta D seven, slide it back to the fourth. So the bar is at the fourth. That is D flat or C sharp seven. Slide it back one more, that's C seven. Like I said, you've probably seen this video, the most useful ukulele chord shape on Blackpool Music Skills channel. That goes into this a bit more depth and how you can use it a bit more. But this is just a video to get you playing chords. So basically what we're trying to do is recreate the chord using the nut here that's how you work out most of your chords, the gaps on frets and stuff like that. So with the bar, the bar becomes the nut and all you do is recreate the gaps. So in this case, A7, that A note there, slide it up one, put the bar on, so the bar's at the first fret, A sharp seven, second fret, B7, third fret, C7, fourth fret, C sharp, D flat seven, fifth, D7, and so on up the neck and that's how A7 can become a movable chord. Like I've said in all the previous videos, what's hard for you may be easy for me and what's hard for me may be easy for you. Different hand sizes, different hand shapes and bits and bobs like that can make all the difference. All we're trying to do is not give up on songs because one or two chords may be difficult, they may be easier for you to play in another position and that's how A7 can become a movable chord. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do hope you found it useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we will post. So until next time, take care, keep practicing, keep playing, and as always, goodbye.